Holly here on the Latino Slant. Want to make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Also, to check out thelatinoslant.com. It is our website. We have different reviews. We have retro reviews. All types of good stuff happening on our .com. Get on over there and sign into our free newsletter. Well, the LA Times uh, brought up uh, and wrote this column from Gustavo Ariano how an American cholo went from a Hillary Clinton fan to Trump voter. Now, um, here's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm not when I'm I'm not going to read you the entire article. I'm just going to pick out a couple of points. I will have the link to this article for you guys. All right. Now, what you're seeing and what you're hearing uh, in the last few months, no doubt, is that the Latino vote, in particular Latino men, have been progressing towards the Republican Party. Be that as that may, uh, you know, the, de the Democrats, as far as uh, Latinos in general, they're still pulling in great numbers. However, stuff has been changing, which we have reported on. They talk about that in this article, but there's a couple of points I wanted to, to, to hit on. And then I want to hear from you guys in regards to this article. So let's go and move to, uh, and as you know, we've had American Cholo Gill on this channel several times. Uh, we we love him, think he's fantastic. Now, in, in interviewing him, uh, Ariano also uh, talked to a couple of different other um, um, experts, as you know, history professors, Chicano studies professors, etc. And one who has written extensively about Republican Latinos says he's weary of explanations about Latino male support for Trump that are all that are about machismo, misogyny, and patriarchy. It might be in there, sure, but I'd also want the people making arguments about that at least to consider these more these more material matters, like the industries where Latino men are overrepresented, like construction and law enforcement their leaders are all in trump okay uh all right so there's already uh a a, a a slanted point of view on their take on machismo machismo can for lack of better words uh, be very negative and ve be very positive in my opinion uh, positive machismo uplifts and upholds and keeps moving the society forwards, keeps our families together, and uh, keeps uh, you know, just keeps the the positivity in the community uh, together as well. So they're already painting this argument as if machismo is just as bad as misogyny and patriarchy. So I find that. I'm not a big fan of that, how they're already framing the argument. Then uh, this professor goes on to say that, well, look at where they're overrepresented, construction and law enforcement. All right. Like the backbones of our society to move forward every day. Right. To keep a society civil, uh, is, you got to have roads. You, you got to have lights. You got to have working electric electricity. When uh, your electricity goes out, boy, we we really rely on these machismo men, right? So, it's it, it's interesting how they are, they're already framing Latino men as if they're already at a default uh, within this patriarchy, as if construction and law enforcement are an awful thing. And we all have our problems with law enforcement, good and bad. But we can all um, we can all agree that when push comes to shove in times of danger, we would like to be able to call nine one one. Now, whether that uh, is successful or not, that's a whole different arg different argument. Then, then they say their leaders are all in on Trump. So these now now these Latino men who are much uh, uh, toxic machos, misogynistic in the patriarchy, overrepresented in construction and law enforcement. Now they're mindless, they're sheep to be taken advantage of by their leaders. Leaders of Latino men, you now have to go and vote for Trump. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And they've been painting this image as well as the uneducated are going towards 
um, the Republican Party. Let's break that down. Uneducated means uh, it can mean uh, several different things. Not college educated, maybe not finished with a high school diploma, maybe a GED, GED later on down the line. But however, a lot of entrepreneurial small business owners, uh, they don't see the advantages of going to a college. They, they'll go to a trade school. They'll learn the trade. They'll become a licensed contractor, just like all my cousins who are very, very smart. Three, three men and a woman. They're all, they're all contractors. God bless them. So, um, yeah, I've never regarded my, my cousins as uneducated. You know, so maybe the the old definitions are just outdated. Uh, so that's my that's my problem with this. Uh, but you know, I, I get it. I get the the argument that they're trying to paint. Now I want to jump on over to um, to to another professor that he interviewed and in talking about these men are not monsters, but are sympathetic of how every cultural and ethnic group are struggling with. How do we incorporate men? into civic engagement. Too many Latino males, the professor said, are embracing a hyper-individualized sense of machismo. All right. Well, I've already explained myself in regards to my views on positive machismo and um, how it moves families, communities, and our uh, society locally and uh, and uh, as far as our country. So you keep demonizing these men. You're not going to get, well, you're already not getting the outcome you want. Now saying that they are embracing a hyper-individualized sense. So this hyper-individualized sense, it, it, you're talking about the rugged, the rugged individual, which is very American, men and women. Sure, it's been dominated by men for the last 200 years, but you know uh, the the numbers show that there's a lot of uh, successful uh, entrepreneurial females and business owners. So hyper individualized sense. I, I can't think of actually any male who has embraced being a hyper family man a hyper responsible man than that of the Latino male with their families, with their work, with the work ethic. Now it's being demonized as well. Explain this to me. Explain this to me because what you're saying here is that these men have to be educated, have to be, have to evolve from what they are. They're cavemen. They, they can't think for themselves and they're the, these hyper you know, roided uh, macho men. It's funny, again, when we need to move mountains, when we need uh, roads built, uh, electricity brought, uh, sewage drained, we always call them these hyper-individualized machismo, uh, uh, you know, monsters. So I really reject a lot of this argument. I I'm glad, I'm glad Gustavo uh, interviewed Gil. Uh, but you know, they're, you know, to paint, uh, Latino men were as, you know, uh, uneducated oofs, which is the only reason why they could ever think that, uh, they would go to the Republican party, not just to ask them, not to engage with them and to figure out what the root problems are. Cause the root problems is, is not that they're hyper individualized macho thugs. Probably has to do with a lot of other bread and butter issues. So, yeah, yeah, but in which which they kind of they can dance around, but then they also go into this whole uh, immigrant and uh, they paint this uh, picture of irony in in regards to well, your ancestors were undocumented, but yet you're uh, not for the undocumented now. And there's a whole thing there. Again, it is a uh, uh, a fascinating. Uh, uh, article column piece from gustavo i can't say i agree with it all but i'm glad that uh the la times uh did this and it, to give gill and american cholo uh its spotlight it's pretty smart because gill and uh his following is massive compared to uh anything the times has done in the last several years so i'm really curious to how 
um, the the responses with this article. And and one and, and, and again, hats off to Gustavo, hats off to also Brandon of the Daily Cello for pointing out this article and retweeting it. And, and uh, yeah, so now I want to know what you guys think because you know what I think, and uh, I I cannot uh, for the life of me figure out why in different facets why we continue to demonize our men. You can't move a society forward without both halves being equally respected, by the way. All right, my name is Polly. This is Latino Slant. Wherever you're at, please bleep your slant fuerte. Gracias. <laughs>